Hello again fellow Minecraftians, Lost One here with yet another tutorial, this time dealing with the Energetic Infuser. Now this is Thermal Expansion's answer to the uh, Charging Modular Power Suits in the new Tekkit Mod Pack. Look at that, that's the uh, Modular Power Suits Tinker Table. It is an absolute beauty. Either way, I digress, that's nothing to do with this, though you can check out that and how to make modular power suits in the tutorial I should be putting up uh, in a couple of days or so. Anyway, the uh, energetic infuser. Okay, now it is, like all thermal expansion machines, uh, it runs on buildcraft energy, so it will accept any form of energy input except redstone energy, uh, no, sorry, redstone uh, engines, because they're crap. Um, it has a fully configurable inputs and outputs on all faces except the front. You can adjust which way it faces using a crescent hammer as you can see here. Um, yeah, You don't need any special tools to pick them up and move them around. Just smack it with a pick and you shall pick it up. Uh, the central bit here is the internal storage buffer. Now it holds 40,000 Minecraft jewels. Now this will probably be the biggest energy sink in a uh, uh, build craft setup purely because of how much power that the uh, modular power suits may need depending on the size of your battery. Now the blue side is the input where you would put your power tools and the orange will be the output. Now I've made a powered gauntlet that has no attachments but I have put the uh, HV capacitor in it for the advanced battery, you know the highest tier of storage. Uh, so you get your energetic infuser plugged into some power. By the way, this is running on uh, redstone energy conduits attached to a couple of redstone energy cells down there. Unlike my other tutorials, I had to actually add a few more because this thing is quite beastly. Um, I'm not sure on the exact figures, but if you see there it says energy 750k slash 5m. I think it holds 5 million uh, Minecraft jewels. That is an enormous amount. I may well be wrong, I'm not sure of the figures. Um, and I think the figures get mixed up between each mod anyway, so it's not all that important. But basically, you drop what you want to charge in there. And there you go. It'll start to fill up, as you see there. I mean, it's eating up the internal storage buffer. Uh, that's counting down very, very slowly. Um, so yeah, that could take a long time to charge. I do not know. I suppose it all depends how much energy you can actually produce. Now, I believe it's actually being fed 200 Minecraft joules per tick at the moment. So, that thing stores an awful lot of Minecraft joules. Oh, is it done? <coughs> no, no, it's, it's just sort of glitching out the reading. Anyway, that is the energetic infuser. Now, you may well ask, why would you want to have inputs and outputs? Now, ordinarily, you wouldn't. But anyone who's uh, relatively advanced in the game will be using ender storage, the uh, ender pouches and ender chest, etc. Now, you can have mobile charging by um, dropping uh, an empty tool, say, or empty piece of power armor into your ender pouch, where your sorting system will pull it out of the ender chest, feed it into this, recharge it, and then put it straight back into the chest so you can take it out again. It's very contrived. I may well do a tutorial on it in the future. There are plenty of tutorials from other mods, uh, not featuring modular power suits, but you, um, if you need to know now, it shouldn't be too difficult to look it up. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful to you. I know there are many of you who are having trouble charging their modular power suits at the moment without using the uh, the solar and or the kinetic charger, um, which are the inbuilt modules. Um, anyway, I should stop going on about modular power armor now. This is just an add-on for thermal expansion. I hope it helps everyone. Have fun, guys. See ya.